Hello, boys and girls. I hope you're ready for bed. You've brushed your teeth. You've washed your face, if you can. And you're ready for your story. Well, today's story is called Horsepower. And it's from Old MacDonald's Farmer Tales. So, let us start our story. On the day of the county show... There was lots of hustling and bustling on the farm. Mrs. McDonald had to feed the animals and collect the eggs by herself. As old McDonald was busy cleaning his tractor. Every year, old McDonald drove his tractor and trailer to, shop, to the show to give rides to the children. They loved it, but it meant a lot of hard work for the farmer. There were wheels to wash paint and paintwork to polish. And today, there were even ducks to shoo away when they began splashing about in the bubbles in his bucket. Quack, 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 quack. But at last, the tractor was spotlessly clean. Old MacDonald went into the farmhouse to put on best. Here we go, said Doris the duck, as the farmer climbed into his tractor. Cover your ears, little ones. But when old MacDonald turned the key, there was silence. The tractor simply would not start. Old MacDonald fiddled and twe- fiddled with and tweaked the engine and got his hands greasy. He stamped and stomped around and got his best boots muddy. He muttered and moaned and got rather red in the face. The tractor didn't once cough or splutter or show any sign of life. I hate to let the children down, groaned old MacDonald, but I can't pull the trailer if I don't have a tractor. Now, Henry the Cockroll is often naughty and always nosy, but sometimes there's good ideas. As old George and Tilly looked out into the yard, Henry jumped up onto their stable door and gave his loudest cock a doo doo MacDonald looked up in surprise and delight. Goodness gracious me, he cried. You're right, Henry. Horsepower. Now quick, jump out of the way. There's lots of work to be done. There were coats to comb, tails to untangle, and manes to thread with pretty ribbons. There were harnesses to hitch and reins to clean and hang with gleaming brasses. It's just like the good old days, neighed old George to Tilly. There was no doubt who the stars of the county show were that year. Children queued up in a long line waiting for to be pulled around the showground by old George and Tilly. The horses plodded proudly up and down with their coats shining and their heads held high. At the end of the afternoon, Old MacDonald led the horses back to their stable and gave them a special supper of apples and oats. You know, he said as he stroked their manes, sometimes I miss the old days as well. But when Old George and Tilly nodded their great heads. It wasn't to show they agreed with him. They were fast asleep on their feet. After all, they're not as young as they used to be, and it had been a very busy... So, that is the story, boys and girls. I hope you liked it. Thanks for listening.